Hey guys, welcome back to Not a Hero. Let's pick up where we left off last time. High grade filter. Chris makes it into the cell only to see his comrade brutally murdered by Lucas. Now that he has the enhanced filter, he can enter heavily contaminated areas, but what awaits him among the clouds of spores? Man, look at this smug smirk on that face. They really want you to hate this guy, don't they? That's a damn realistic looking photo though, I'll tell you that. It's funny though, when they when they saw him at the end of Resident Evil 7, some people didn't think it was actually Chris. They thought it was too small and not buff enough. But it's obvious that Chris only got that way because of Wesker. He didn't match Wesker's strength. Now that Wesker's gone, I guess Chris decided he just doesn't need to be that big anymore. He stopped using the steroids. That and he probably suffered some shrinkage, if you know what I mean. It is 6.23 a.m. on Christmas Day. Most, most kids are probably tucked up in bed, waiting for Santa. Adults are probably hung over from all the booze they took last night. And we are going to hunt this son of a bitch down. Hopefully they'll finally let us utterly, fully, and completely kill this guy. Because he's got to go. So we have some ammo left, but we're probably going to have to find some soon. So there's one more door we haven't explored. I think it's the green one. So let's see what's in there. Hopefully some ammo. So how was your Christmas Eve, guys? Mine was long. I spent it working all day long, 10 hours at a store. And then there's the day after Christmas on Tuesday, where people are probably going to return all they got on Christmas to my store at Sears. Yeah, that'll be fun. Probably five straight hours of returns. This looks like there might be an enemy at the end of it. Oh, that's a bomb. Shit. I wonder what happens if you just shoot it. that then
Oh, we got an antique coin. Throw a stun grenade. Wonder if you can blow him up. Oh, so that looks to be a new type of enemy, kind of similar to the fat guy, but just skinnier. Yeah, we're definitely shooting that bomb. And that didn't do anything. Guessing you need the night vision. Man, what the hell kind of experiments was Lucas running down here? We need the night vision goggles. See, I want to try to see if I can blow one of them up with a grenade. But they keep disappearing. They just go back into the ground. And we can't open that door. So I'm guessing now that we encountered those guys, they're just going to pop up everywhere. So no grenade launcher. Which means we still have to find a weapon to deal with that guy. The fat one. Yeah, let's just go back. Well, that was a huge waste of time. Oh, here's another one. Or is this the same way we came in?
guess we have to go back. There's no other place. I still can't believe they didn't give this guy a pair of night vision goggles. Even though they were sending him into a damn swamp at night. Maybe there's something in here. Let's look around a bit. Nope. Just his headless body. Nothing here. I guess we have to go down, don't we? Shit. Or I guess up. I wonder how far he can actually follow you out. If he just sticks to his general area or can he actually follow you here? So obviously we missed something. Either the night vision gadget or else some type of key. But it's just impossible to see shit when all this fog in the air or mist, spores, whatever the hell this thing is. pretty much no other area we haven't checked out it's just that one the one we can't get into right now and this one so what else is left guess we're gonna have to go back into the green room again and we only got 10 bullets so we're gonna have to blow these guys up there's gotta be something down here This one's locked. We don't have anything to open this one.
stuffing those boxes. There's got to be something else here. We're just not seeing it. Uh, uh. Wait a second. No, we can't shoot that. Here we go. I don't think we went this way before. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we need the night vision goggles for that. But not for this door. Holy shit, this does not look good. I apologize for any background noise that might get captured by the microphone. People are starting to wake up. I waited way too long to record this. Oh, we got some shotgun ammo. Yeah, I apologize for any that might get captured on the mic. Oh, let's see what we have here. There we go. Oh, anti-region ammo. Ramrods. Those ramrods should allow you to take down the new white mold variant. Good. Anti-region ammo ramrods. These rapid-acting mycotoxic rounds, or ramrods for short, have been developed specifically for combat against fungus-based bioweapons. The bullet excretes a toxin on impact that not only rapidly destroys fungal cell membranes, but also prevents regeneration of lost tissue. One shot will allow for normal methods of attack to gain effect thereafter. Oh, so it's not a grenade launcher, so they're, they're basically anti-BOW rounds specifically for that type of monster. So you shoot one of them with one bullet, and after that you can just use regular bullets on them. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not picking up the night vision device yet, because I know as soon as I do that, one of those molded is going to be is going to pop out right behind me. Night vision device. This device adds night vision functionality to the umbrella HMD system. The device uses image intensification to help the user see better in low light environments. It also allows the user to see light rays not visible to the naked eye, such as infrared beams. Okay. I'm going to solid snake this. Lucas has got damn infrared beams placed somewhere. Shit. Now the question is, why didn't they give this to Chris in the first place? He's their top guy. They should have given him the damn night vision device. Night vision equipped. So we only got three of these bullets, which means we're going to have to save one, at least, for the fat guy. Which means we can only afford two. So we can only afford to kill two of these guys with these guys. Incendiary grenade. Is there anything else here? Nah. 
There's an old umbrella. Oh, I get it. You're finding umbrella equipment in a place of old umbrellas. Ah, uh, never mind. Wonder who thought that was cute. Oh, shit. What the hell? Okay, so there's no one in here, but I'm guessing as soon as I step out that door, there's gonna be a ton of molded. 